welcome in as we see the Episcopal Knights take the field. We're here for the Southwest Preparatory Conference Championship between these two ball clubs. We're gonna have the Episcopal Knights hosting the St. John's Mavericks of Houston, Texas. We're out here in Bel Air, beautiful sunny day. On the mound for Episcopal tonight is going to be number 21, Reese Barrett. As you see her warming up behind the plate for her. It's going to be catcher Lily Tanner. Over at first base for the Knights, Gianna Lewis. Second baseman, Kate Hale. Shortstop, Emma Perot. Third baseman, Reagan Moriarty. Over in right field, Camille Walker. Center field, Allie Williams. And rounding out in left, Bella Woodcox. For the St. John's Mavericks, it's going to be their leadoff hitter, Amira Stocks, coming up to the plate. Follow, follow with her is going to be Jesse Beck, the third baseman. Hit it batting third is catcher Avery Peaks. Cleanup hitter for St. John's Mavericks, the pitcher, Sonia Zhang. In center field, batting fifth, Leah Beach. Batting sixth, first baseman Warner Stahlbaum. DHing batting seventh, Sophie Lesniak. Batting eighth in right field, Lillian Pale. And cleaning up, batting ninth for the Mavericks, the left fielder, Julia Mixstawich. And the first pitch by Stocks taken high and outside for ball one. And Reese Barrett with another one. A little bit high as well for ball two. 2-0 count. Here now to Amira Stocks, the leadoff hitter for St. John's. Another high pitch there for Barrett, struggling find that zone. It's going to be Lily Tanner going out trying to get her pitcher on track. And that one's in there. For strike one. Episcopal Knights winning the SPC championship last year. That one goes down the first baseline to Lewis. She grounds it and tags Stocks for the first out of the inning. Ground out to Lewis marks the first out of the game. And really good job from Reese Barrett there to come back from that 3-0 count. And that one's ripped into left field. Going back, back is Woodcox, and that's gone. Jesse Beck, the third baseman, gave it a ride. That's going to score the first run of this ball game. What a shot there for Beck off the pitch from Barrett. It's going to give the Mavericks a 1-0 lead here in the top of the first inning. Episcopal having a quick little mound meeting in the infield. I'm gonna regroup after that one. The Knights of Episcopal are not new to the SPC Championship. As they were the champions last year, 2021. They were also champions in 2019 as well. And they're gonna get back to it now 
The three hole hitter, Avery Peak, step into the plate. The catcher for the Mavericks. And got a situation here with the home plate umpire. It's going to be home plate umpire Ray Guerra talking with head coach Isis Amau of the Mavericks. And going to figure out what this is about. I believe they're taking the score off of St. John's. Figure this out real quick. All right, so I'm hearing in the stands that the issue with it was after Jesse Beck's home run, she touched the hand of a little boy. I believe it's the son of head coach Isis Amoa. And because she touched his hand, the round the run is not going to count. Very interesting here, but that's where we're at, and it's actually going to be two outs in the inning as the Knights really catch a break there from the Mavericks on their own mistake. Now Barrett has to face Avery Peaks, who looks at the first ball outside for a strike or for ball one. That one's outside for ball two, 2-0 two being the count. So taking that run away it was an interference from the little boy touching back at third. That one's in there for Barrett for strike one. Two one the count. Now here in the top of the first with two outs. The score is tied at zero here. After an, an unfortunate break for St. John's on that one. And Peaks rips that into right field, trying to get over first baseman Lewis. And Walker's not in time, the right fielder, to get that throw in. It's going to be a single for Avery Peaks. Technically the first hit of the game for the Mavericks on that line drive single into right field. And that brings up the cleanup hitter, the pitcher for the Mavericks, number seven, Sonia Zhang. Mavericks having to come back from a tough one there. And that one's ripped down the third baseline. Just got fouled, though, for Zhang. Never seen anything like it. Jesse Beck, the two-hole hitter for the Mavericks, ripped a home run over the left field fence. And that home run got erased because of a interference by the coach's son, giving her a handshake at third base, or around coming around third base before she touched home plate. It's going to leave. The game scoreless, and that one's in there for strike two from Barrett. 0 2, now the count with two outs to the Mavericks. Reese Barrett delivers just a bit high and outside. Gonna throw over to first base as Peaks was leaning just a bit. Took a while to get back, but she's gonna stand back up safely. Now Zhang working with a 1 2 count, two outs. Runner on first base in peaks. This one's popped up over the right side. Foul over that right field fence over there. In foul territory. So Zhang staying in it here, battling with Reese Barrett on the mound. As she looks at her wrist the card get the info on the pitch and this one's popped up into shallow center field that's Williams coming on and she's going to record the final out of the inning for the Episcopal Knights we go to the bottom of the first still scoreless here at Knights Field you're listening to SPC Championship here on Vibe Live
bottom of the first inning. Bottom of the first inning, still scoreless here between the Episcopal Knights and the St. John's Mavericks. It's going to be Sonia Zhang on the mound for St. John's. Working behind her, catcher Avery Peaks over at first base Warner Stahlbaum. Second baseman Sarah McClure over at shortstop Amira Stocks. Third baseman Jesse Beck. Left fielder Julia Mikstawich. Center fielder Leah Beach. And the right fielder Lillian Pale rounding it out. For the Episcopal Knights, they're gonna be led off by shortstop Emma Perot. Right-hander stands up, takes the first pitch on the outside for strike one. She's gonna be followed by Lily Tanner, the catcher batting second, batting third for Episcopal first baseman Gianna Lewis. Clean up for the Knights, center fielder Allie Williams. And this pitch into Perot is high. Batting fifth, third baseman Reagan Moriarty. Batting sixth, pitcher Reese Barrett. Seventh, right fielder Camille Walker. Eighth, second baseman Kate Hale. Rounding it out at number nine, left fielder Bella Woodcox. And Perot takes the third pitch down and outside for ball two, 2-1 two, now the count. Top of the first inning, Jesse Beck for St. John's ripped a home run over the left field wall. Unfortunately, that score did not count because of a fan interference. And that one swung on a miss by Perot for strike two. It was the head coach's son, Isis Amoa, who went and Got a handshake from Beck when she was right before she touched home celebrating with Beck. And that unfortunately cost them a run. That one's popped up over in the right side and Stahlbaum going back on it is just going to be foul. Stahlbaum, the first baseman for St. John's, just couldn't get there quite in time. Episcopal today, the home whites with the blue lettering. White trim on the outside of the numbers. St. John's and they're away black with the red lettering, white trim as well. Sonia Zhang, 2-2 count, goes in and that one's ripped right, ne right by the second baseman, McClure, and that goes all the way to the wall. Beach getting it back in there, but not before Perot comes around with a stand-up double. Episcopal is going to lead this one off with a grounder up the hole. It's just a bit to the right of the second baseman, McClure, who couldn't get it. And that huge gap in right center field allowed that ball to travel all the way to the wall. And Perot got over to second. Now stepping up to the plate, the catcher for Episcopal Knights, number seven, Lily Tanner, takes the first pitch from Zhang in there for strike one. Yeah, very nice command. Start out this game. Runner on second in Perot. That one, just as I say that, gets by Peaks, the catcher, and goes into the net, allowing Perot to get over to second after the wild pitch. Perot getting it started here for Episcopal. The bottom of the first inning with a grounder up the hole in the middle of the infield. And this one's popped up over to second baseman McClure. This time she takes a couple steps to her left and gets it for the first out of the inning. Tanner flying out to the second baseman McClure there for the first out in the inning. It brings up the three hole hitter, first baseman Gianna Lewis. Lewis with a runner on third base, and Perot would really like to score her to get Episcopal on the board here in the first inning. The pitch from Zhang, swing and a miss by Lewis for strike one. Big gaps in that outfield here at Knights Field. Not really too deep there, but just a lot of ground to cover width-wise. That one's in the dirt to Lewis for ball one. 1-1 one, one now the count. Here covering the Southwest Preparatory Conference Championship between the Episcopal Knights and the St. John's Mavericks. 
And it's popped up into the infield. It's McClure calling for it. Her and shortstop Stocks were arguing who got it, and the ball popped out of McClure's glove because of it. That's going to score Perot from third base on that error from the second baseman. No Stocks got in her way, but McClure was the one who dropped the ball. Lewis going to get on first base after that error. Really unfortunate for St. John's here, hurting themselves in this first inning. Lost a run in the top of the first off an interference play. And now down one in the bottom of the first off, off an infield error from the second baseman, McClure. Maverick's going to try and regroup here. It's going to be cleanup hitter, center fielder, Allie Williams up to the plate. Right-hander has a runner on first, and Lewis swing and a miss by Williams, and that's strike one. Beautiful day out here at Episcopal High School. Sun was out, but now there's nice shade, big clouds in the air. Some good cloud cover for us here as it's a very hot and humid day out here in Houston, Texas. 0-1 count to Williams. She pops this one over into foul territory over the first baseline. It's actually going to stay fair for the pitcher, Zhang, who's going to walk over there and record the second out of the inning. Fly out to the pitcher for Williams. And now stepping up to the plate, the five-hole hitter, Reagan Moriarty. Two fly outs for Episcopal. Really should have been three but an error by the second baseman, McClure. Stocks, the shortstop and her were bumping heads, couldn't get the call. And the first pitch into Moriarty is a swing and a miss for strike one. Episcopal leading here, one to nothing. Bottom of the first inning, two outs. Swing and a miss by Moriarty. And gonna be a throw down from Peaks. Stahlbaum couldn't get that one just a bit high, but was able to get her glove on it to not let it go in the outfield too far. And that made Lewis stay at first base. 0-2 count now to Moriarty from St. John's pitcher Sonia Zhang. She's trying to get out of this one, only giving up one run. The pitch is in the dirt for ball one. 1-2, one, now the count. One, two count, two outs to Moriarty. That pitch is high and away for ball two. Reagan making sure she gets her pitch to hit. And working her way back from an 0-2 count to now bring it to two and two. Deuce is wild on the board, and the pitch from Zhang is in there. Popped up into right field, possibly no man's land territory, and Pale not able to get it. The right fielder dived for it, but just a bit short from it, and the ball comes home, and that's coming around to score is Gianna Lewis from first base. With two outs, Lewis was on the move as soon as the ball was in the air, and Moriarty shooting that ball into no man's land in the shallow right field. Pale not able to get to it. It's going to be a triple for Moriarty, and Episcopal scores their second run of the day. 2-0, the Knights lead over the Mavericks. Now coming up, Reese Barrett, the pitcher for the Episcopal Knights, trying to help her case on the mound here with a runner at third base and Moriarty. And kind of a running swing and miss there from Barrett for strike one. Zhang looks in for the pitch, and that one's high and inside, and she takes off from third base. She's caught in no man's land, but Zhang kind of trips and bobbles that ball, and Moriarty getting back to third base safely. Peaks, 
let that ball get a little bit to her right there and Moriarty tried to test her but realized halfway through that she was not going to make it. And Zhang kind of stumbled to throw that one over to third giving Moriarty enough time to get back as she kind of dusts herself off after that slide. It's going to be Reese Barrett batting left-handed here, the right-handed pitcher is batting left-handed for Episcopal. She's got 1-1 one, one count with two outs. That one high and there for Zhang, back-to-back -back fastballs high for the Mavericks pitcher. 2-1, now the count to Barrett. Runner on third base is Moriarty. The pitch is in there, but a little bit low for home plate Ray Guerra to call that one a strike. The count goes to 3-1. Left-hander Barrett now with hitter's count. 3-1, two outs, runner on third. The pitch from Zhang is low for ball four. Reese Barrett issuing the first walk of the game for Sonia Zhang. That brings up seventh batter this inning, the right fielder Camille Walker steps in with runners on the corners and two outs. Get some signs from the catcher, Avery Peaks. Sure, if there's a possible steal opportunity or anything that Episcopal wants to throw at him. Zhang is back and ready on the rubber. The delivery in the pitch, swing and a miss from Walker, and it's strike one. Peaks throwing down to third base to try and get more yardy, but she slides back in safely. Oh, one now the count. Camille Walker and the Episcopal Knights, reigning SPC champions from last year. Now up against the St. John's Mavericks, and they lead two to nothing. The pitch to Walker and taken off is Barrett from first base. She's going to get back into, she's going to get into second, standing up and no throw attempt from Peaks. Now runners on second and third. For Walker, 1-1 one, one count, two outs. Saying the delivery and the pitch, it's in the dirt, it gets by Peaks, and great read for Moriarty at third base. As soon as she saw it hit the dirt, she was running, and she comes in to score easily for Episcopal for the third round of the inning. And unfortunately though, Reese Barrett went to third, but just got caught trying to tease the Mavericks off the bag. And they threw her out, pick off over at third base for the final out of the inning. Episcopal able to get three out of that one. And we're through one. Episcopal leading St. John's three to nothing here on Vibe Live.
top of the second inning. Episcopal leading St. John's 3-0. to zero. It's going to be St. John's up to bat. Five, six, and seven hitters for St. John's. Starting out with center fielder, Leah Beach. It's Reese Barrett back on the mound for a second inning of work. After getting picked off over at third base, trying to test the waters of St. John's. And they made her pay for it. Picking her off after scoring a run from third base Moriarty after a wild pitch from Zhang. And Episcopal leading three to nothing, three runs scored in that bottom of the first inning. And the first pitch in here to Beach is high for ball one. That one popped up in the infield. It's third baseman Moriarty really showing off some speed there. Getting to that ball was popped up shallowly over by pitcher Barrett. But was Moriarty getting to it in time for Episcopal for the first out of the inning? It's a little pop-up in the infield for Beach. That brings up number six hitter for St. John's, the first baseman, Warner Stahlbaum. And Stahlbaum takes the first pitch in there for strike one. Stahlbaum, one of the taller players between both teams. The right-hander stands in. Barrett steps back in the pitch, and it's a liner over the first baseman's head and Lewis. And Walker, the right fielder, not able to get that one in time. And it's going to be a single to start the day for Stahlbaum and the Mavericks. One out base hit for St. John's. And that brings up their designated hitter, number eight, Sophie Lesniak. Right-hander stands in with a runner at first base and one out. Pitch from Barrett's in there, fouled over to the right side for strike one. Outfield shifted slightly to Lesniak, opposite to her opposite direction. She comes around to bunt. That one, unfortunately, though, just foul. Just a little bit left of that third base line that's going to bring the count to 0-2. Williams, the center fielder, a couple feet right of the second of second base. Just a tad. Working the opposite side, Sophie Lesniak. She's got no 2 count. Runner on first, one out. And a swing and a miss from Lesniak, and she goes down for the second out of the inning. Nice fastball from Barrett there. Getting Lesniak just a bit behind on that swing and miss. Brings up number eight hitter, right fielder Lillian Pale. Right-hander stands in with two outs and a runner at first. The pitch from Barrett is fouled back in the backstop for strike one. Episcopal getting it started in the last inning with a double from their leadoff hitter Perot. Then got a little help from St. John's as the second baseman McClure and shortstop Stocks ran into each other on a pop-up in the infield. That allowed Perot to score. And that's a bunt put down by Pale. And she jumped off the bag of first baseman. There's no one at third. And it's going to be second and third for the Mavericks. Really nice job running the bases there for St. John's. And Perfect bunt put down by Lillian Pale. It's going to be a bunt single for the right fielder. And able to get to second there. It's going to be a quick timeout called by head coach Caitlin Kane. And she's going to come in and talk with her infielders on that one. Take you through what just happened there. It was a bunt put down by Pale. Barrett, the pitcher, able to get to the ball, but when she threw it over to first baseman Lewis, it was just a bit high, and Lewis had to jump off the bag and came off the bag. And during all that time, runner at second base, Stahlbaum, saw this 
and took off over to third because the third baseman was charging in for the bunt attempt and there was no one at third base. Stahlbaum smart running the bases for St. John's, got over to third, and when the throw went over there, Pale over at first base decided she's going to take off too. So now St. John's setting themselves up nicely with runners at second and third. Two outs here for their number nine hole hitter, the left fielder, Julia McStaywich. Barrett set, throws first pitch in there for strike one. Barrett trying to get it out of this one. Should have had that one there on a good throw. But now with runners in second and third, she has to work. And that one in there for strike two. She's working that outside corner very nicely here today so far. Now the 0-2 count to McStaywich. And the pitch is fouled off in the backstop. Kind of a check swing by McStaywich to stay alive there. Keep the Mavericks hopes alive. The score should technically be three to one, but an interference in the first inning took away a home run from number two hole hitter, Jesse Beck. And a swing and a miss there from McStaywich. And Reese Barrett gets out of that one. Two strikeouts on the inning. We go to the bottom of the third, Episcopal three, St. John's nothing. Bottom of the second inning, Episcopal leading St. John's three to nothing. Here at Knight Field for the SPC Championship. It's the Southwest Preparatory Conference. And we have the reigning champs here today with us in the Episcopal Knights. They have a three nothing lead going in the bottom of the second. For St. John's, it's Sonia Zhang back on the mound for her second inning of work. It's going to be leadoff hitter for the Knights, Amira Stocks, taking the first pitch outside for ball one. Stocks 0 for 1 with a ground out in the first. Leadoff hitter for these Knights. Right-hander stands in. The 1-0 count. The pitch from Zhang just a bit inside for Guerra. Count goes to 2-0. Episcopal getting out of a jam in that top of the second inning. Runners on second and third, two outs. And that one got stock swinging and missing for strike one. Count goes to two and one. It was an error on the, on the pitcher, Barrett, who had a high throw to first base, took the runner off the bag and set up runners on third, second and third. That one's in the dirt to Stocks for ball three. Now and a 3-1 hitter's count. Zhang adjusting her hair a little bit with that face mask on. And she gets set, and the pitch in the dirt for ball four. It's 
going to be the second walk of the day issued to Zhang. And it's going to set up runner at first base for the number eight hole hitter, Kate Hale. Excuse me, I was a little bit mistaken there on my scorecard. That was Camille Walker with the walk for Episcopal. It's going to be seven, eight, nine hitters here for the Knights. Now second baseman Kate Hale stepping up to the plate with the runner on first and Walker. Apologies for that one. Hale on the check swing. Home plate umpire Guerra said she went for strike one. Bottom of the second, no outs for Episcopal. Runner on first and Walker. Kate Hale at the plate and she comes around to bunt. That one just dies foul in the dirt. And Garrett called the foul immediately. It just came off the bat and just stuck in the ground there for Hale. And it's going to be two strikes. 0-2 the count now for the eight-hole hitter, Kate Hale. Hale standing in to Zhang. Zhang, and that's a swing and a miss from Hale. Strike three for Sonia Zhang, her first strikeout of the day. Getting Kate on that outside fastball. One out here now for the Mavericks. It's going to be the nine hole hitter, Bella Woodcox, for Episcopal stepping up to the plate. That one's in the dirt for Zhang for ball one. Slight shift in the outfield, center fielder Beach. Just a little left, that second base. Nice big gap, that right center field for Episcopal. And that one comes across the plate for strike one. Throw down from Peaks over to first base to try and get Walker, but she slides back in safely. 1-1 one, one now, the count to Woodcox. And taken off from first base is Walker, and she slides into the second base safely. The throw from Peaks was just a bit high outside for the shortstop Stocks to get it. And Walker gets into second base with the steal. Set up runner in scoring position now for the Knights. Bella Woodcox, though, with a 1-2 count after that strike from Zhang. And a swing and a miss, and that's strike three. Woodcox actually did foul tip it, but it went right into the glove of Peaks for out number two. Two outs now in the bottom of the second. Back to the top of the order, it's Emma Perot, the shortstop. In the batter's box for Episcopal. She asks for time, takes a check swing. Steps in, ready to go. Zhang delivers. This one's popped up into right field. Possibly no man's land again, but this time Pale gets in it. She had a diving attempt back in the first inning that allowed Moriarty to get all the way to third base and score a run. But she's going to record the third out of the inning here for St. John's in the bottom of the second. We're through two, Episcopal leading St. John's three to one.
top of the third inning. Episcopal leading St. John's three to nothing here for the SPC championship. St. John's batting here in the top of the third inning. It's gonna be the top of the order. One, two, three for the Mavericks, starting with shortstop Amira Stocks. Grounded over to the first baseman, Lewis, back in the first inning. Reese Barrett on the mound, the right-hander for her second inning of work. And the pitch is hit right up, right back to her. She calmly looks over to first base, Lewis throws it over there for strike, or for out number one. One three ground out for Stocks for the first out of the inning. That brings up the third baseman, Jesse Beck, who had a home run back in the first inning that got taken away off an interference from the coach's son. And that one's in the dirt for ball one. Beck ripped that over the left field wall. Woodcox, left fielder, all she could do was look up and watch it go, but right before she crossed home plate, she takes that one high for ball two. She touched hands with head coach's son, Isis Samoa, or head coach Isis Samoa's son, and that took the runaway, unfortunately for the Mavericks. First swing from Beck is a miss for strike one. She was able to take Barrett over the wall back in the first inning. Now sits here with a 2-1 count. Barrett working fast. That one a bit outside for ball three. The count goes to three and one. One out for Episcopal. And this one's shot over the third baseman, Moriarty. She grounds it, throws over to Lewis at first and gets the second out of the inning. 5-3 ground out for the third baseman, Beck. Now that brings up the three-hole hitter, catcher Avery Peaks. Had a single back in the first inning. The liner in the right field. She takes the first one inside for ball one. Wind blowing out here at Episcopal High School in Knights Field. That pitch from Barrett finds that inside corner for strike one. Beautiful facility out here in Houston, Texas for Episcopal. This one's grounded over a shortstop Perot. She steps up, takes it, throws it over to Lewis for the third out of the inning. One, two, three, all ground outs for Episcopal. Brings us to the bottom of the third. Episcopal still leading St. John's three to nothing. You're listening to the SBC Championship on Vibe Live.
bottom of the third inning, Episcopal leading St. John's three to nothing. It's gonna be the two, three, and four hitters to lead off for Episcopal. It's gonna be the catcher, Lily Tanner. Flew out to the second baseman, McClure, back in the first. Sonia Zhang on for her second inning of work. And the first pitch is swing and a miss from Tanner for strike one. Episcopal scoring all their runs in the first inning. A double for Perot and an error from the second baseman allowed them to get one. And that one hit to the left side, third baseman Beck not able to handle it, hits off her glove. And Lily Tanner going in for a double. And a routine grounder for the third baseman, Beck, turns into a leadoff double for Episcopal. So they already lead three to nothing. Here with the runner on second base and no outs in the bottom of the third inning. Tough there for Zhang, as she's been pitching great, allowing small contact here from Episcopal. That one's popped back to the backstop, and it hits the net for Peaks, just not able to glove that one. She had it in her glove, but had to use the net to be able to catch that ball there, and it's going to be ruled foul by home plate umpire Ray Guerra. And he's explaining what happened to Zhang on the mound. She nods in agreement. And now we have an 0-1 count for Gianna Lewis. The 3 0 hitter for Episcopal. That gets by Peaks, and that's going to allow Tanner to get over to third on the wild pitch. <laughs> that ball hitting the dirt in there to Peaks, and she was not able to glove it. Now runner at third base, no outs for a three-hole hitter, Gianna Lewis. Swing and a miss, and it, it was a foul tip off the end of her bat as that one goes to the backstop, and Tanner over at third took off. She goes back and resets over at third base. Now with a one-two count to Lewis. And the pitch is hit up the middle. Over to Zhang, who gloves it, throws it over to home, but not in time as Tanner was just able to get under that, that tag from Peaks. That's the fourth run scored for Episcopal. And Gianna Lewis gets on, on first with a single. That one hit up the middle to Zhang. She kind of bobbled it. And on that transition from the glove to the hand, that bobble allowed Tanner enough time to get down the third baseline and slide in safely for Episcopal. No outs, runner at first base, Allie Williams, the cleanup hitter now up. Her first pitch she swings and misses at for strike one. Episcopal catching a lot of breaks here against St. John's after we saw the first inning home run by Jesse Beck for St. John's get taken away off of fan interference. This one's lined over to the first baseman Stahlbaum and Gianna Lewis was not aware. She took off to second base. Stahlbaum steps on first base for the double play. So Mavericks trying to get back into it there. Line out to three. An assisted double play for the first baseman, Stahlbaum. Warner Stahlbaum. And now two outs for Episcopal. It's Reagan Moriarty taking the first pitch in for strike one. Episcopal leading four to nothing in the bottom of the fourth inning. Moriarty got a triple back in that first inning. This one hit right over to Stahlbaum. Grounder, the slow roller, she grabs it, steps on the bag for out number three after allowing one run on the air in that inning. Episcopal still leading St. John's four to nothing. You're watching the SPC Championship 
here on Vibe Live. Top of the fourth inning, Episcopal leading St. John's four to nothing. It's gonna be the four, five, and six hitters for St. John's here in the top of the fourth inning. It's gonna be the pitcher, Sonia Zhang, leading off. Right-hander steps in. She flew out to center field to end the first inning as Reese Barrett takes the mound for her fourth inning of work. The delivery and the pitch is in there. Oh, excuse me, is in there for ball one. Maybe a little bit low there to Zhang. As Episcopal had a one, two, three inning last inning. That one's ripped down the third baseline foul for strike one. Had all three ground outs in that third inning for Barrett to get out. That one. Piscopal able to get a run there in the third off an error from the third baseman. Mor Moriarty, or Beck, excuse me. So that pitch is outside for ball two. Lily Tanner ripped a grounder over to Beck and not able to field it. And that allowed Tanner to get all the way over to second base. And that one's high and outside for ball three. Three and one hitters count now for the cleanup hitter. Sonia Zhang trying to get the Mavericks going here in the top of the fourth inning. The pitch from Barrett just gets in there. Zhang already walking the first base but having to come back. Now off the 3-2 full count. It's Barrett sets back on the mound for this full count pitch. Delivers and swing right back up the middle. Hits off Barrett's glove, but not going to be in time over to first base. Lewis missed the throw anyway. It's going to be an infield single for Sonia Zhang trying to help her cause on the mound. Really close play there. Barrett was close to just grab that liner out of the air. She knocked it down. And by the time she got to the ball, Zhang was almost touching first base. Lead-off single for the Mavericks here. It's going to bring up center fielder Leah Beach. She flew out to the third baseman Moriarty back in the second inning. And this one's popped up into the infield. The shortstop Perot getting to it, but not in time to get Zhang over at second base as she slides in safely. Zhang had to go on that one. Even though it was popped up in the air, it was a – Kind of shallow and Zhang wiping the dirt off from that slide. The single line drive from Beach able to get her over to first base as Hale probably should have took that one. Perot coming across second base from shortstop to grab that. She had to dive for it and didn't have enough time to get the ball over to second base to get Zhang. Could be a quick mound meeting between the infield of Episcopal and the runners of St. John's 
meeting over at the third baseline with head coach Isis Amal. Catcher Lily Tanner comes set back up behind the plate for Episcopal. No outs for the Knights and runners on first and second for St. John's. It's a number six hole hitter Warner Stahlbaum. Had a single back in the first inning. She comes around to bunt, puts a perfectly placed bunt down the first base line and covering is Hale, the second baseman, covering first base for Lewis who had to come in and that gets the first out. Sack bunt was perfect for the Mavericks as it advanced the runners now to second and third with one out. It's Sophie Lesniak, the designated hitter for the Mavericks now with an RBI opportunity here with runners on second and third. Really nice job of Tanner to get that ball, throw it over to first in time for the out of stall bomb. This one's popped up over to the second baseman, Hale, who runs over and gets the second out of the inning. Not really a line drive, but a shallow pop-up to the second baseman. And Hale, a couple steps to her left. She catches the second out of the inning. And that leaves the runners stranded on second and third here. Right fielder Lillian Pale now up. Number eight hitter for the Mavericks. Trying to get some runs on the board here. And this one's popped over to first base. Lewis gets it. It shoots it over to Hale who covers. Possibly could have ran and covered it, but no harm done, as that'll do it for the top of the fourth inning. St. John's leaves a couple runners stranded on second and third. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Episcopal still leading four to nothing. Bottom of the fourth inning, Episcopal leading St. John's four to nothing. It's gonna be the six, seven, and eight hitters on four Episcopal, leading off the pitcher Reese Barrett, facing Sonia Zhang on the mound for her fourth inning of work. And the first pitch from Zhang is outside for ball one. Both these teams met back on March the 29th here at Episcopal. And Episcopal came out with the win four to three in that one as they lead here four to nothing. That one gets by Peaks, high and inside for ball two. As we're here at Episcopal High School covering the SPC championship between the Episcopal Knights and the St. John's Mavericks. And that one in the dirt for Zhang, ball three. Zhang had a walk in the first inning and a walk in the second. Didn't have one in the third, but count runs to 3-0 and here against Reese Barrett, the left-handed left hitter 
for Episcopal, right-handed pitcher. And Zhang gets the call, goes in, and that one comes across the plate for strike one. Barrett has been teasing to bunt, bringing in the third baseman, Beck, but has backed away after every pitch. Now with the hitter's count, Zhang delivers. That one in there for strike two. Barrett was looking the whole way. Sonia now working it to a full count after a 3-0 start to Barrett. And the full count pitch is in the dirt for ball four. It's gonna be a leadoff walk to start the fourth inning for Episcopal. Zhang started the second inning with a walk to the now batter coming up, Camille Walker, and then proceeded to strike out the next two batters. And a fly out ended that second inning and she got out of that one without any damage done. Runner on first base, no outs. And a swing and a miss from Walker. And that's strike one. Episcopal leading four to nothing. After a three run first inning and a one run third inning. She comes around to bunt, pops it up into the air and peaks, had it on her glove and just not able to grab it. Just off the tip of her glove there and peaks has had a tough day today as there's been a couple of catches there that she could have make she could have made behind the plate and just unfortunately hasn't been in the right position. Now after a leadoff walk, Zhang is ahead here, 0-2 to the right-hander Camille Walker. And the pitch bounces in the dirt. Barrett thinking about taking off, but Peaks keeping it in front of her behind home plate. Barrett elects to stay over at first base. One and two now, the count to Walker. And the swing and a miss from Walker for strike three. First strike out of the inning for Zhang, third of the game for the St. John's pitcher. And that brings up the eight hole hitter, second baseman, Kate Hale. She struck out back in the second inning. First strikeout given to Zhang. The first pitch she takes in the dirt for ball one. One zero. The count to Hale, and the pitch from Zhang. She comes around to bunt, and it gets by Beck, and it's going to be not in time as nobody on second base as Kate Hale puts down the bunt single. And had it in the air and Beck was coming in and just missed it. It was a little bit to her left as she was coming real close to that third base line. And Hale was able to just pitch it right in between her and the pitcher Zhang to drop in for an infield single or bunt single. Also gets the runner Barrett over to second. Now we have runners at first and second, one out for Episcopal. Brings up the number nine hole hitter, Bella Woodcock, swings and misses at the first pitch for strike one. And wow, Barrett taking off from second base inconspicuously as the Mavericks were not expecting it. And Beck, the third baseman, not there in time. Peaks was ready, the catcher on the throw, but Beck not in position to get that tag in. And that's going to bring out head coach Isis Amoa. And she's going to go talk to the third plate, third base umpire and see why that call wasn't in her favor. Real aggressive base running for Episcopal, and it looks like it's going to pay off here as Barrett was able to just get around that tag from the third baseman, Beck Peaks. The catcher came up, had a perfect throw over to third base 
but Beck was not in position and not in time with the tag. And it looks like umpires are going to get together. We're going to see what head coach Isis Amo is arguing. Maybe call gets changed, but I'm not sure. And it looks like the call is going to remain safe. As Ray Guerra electing that that was the right call. Just got to give credit to head coach Isis Amao. Isis Amaho for trying to get her team the call on that one. Unsuccessful though, and it's going to be runners on the corners. One out, and Hale now taking off from first base to second, and no throw from Peaks. Bella Woodcox, 0 2 count, but runners on second and third for Episcopal. Threatening to score more runs. That one getting away from Zhang high and away for ball one. Zhang, in my opinion, has been pitching very well for St. John's, but unfortunately her defense behind her has cost her some runs. And a swing and fouled back from Woodcox to the backstop to stay in it. One and two the count, still here with one out. Woodcox, this one over the netting, gets into the street over there off Bissonette. It's going to trail all the way into the neighborhood right behind Knight's Field. Behind here in Houston, Texas. Count still remains at one and two. This one's popped up into center field. Beach going back on it, and she's going to record that out, but going to give enough time for the runner at third base, Barrett, to come in and score. Sack fly RBI for Bella Woodcox. And gets Episcopal another run. And now lead five to nothing. Takes us to the top of the order. Now for Episcopal, it's the shortstop, Emma Perot. The runner on second base, Hale, had to stay there as the throw from Beach would have got her in time if she tried to take off and tag, go to third base. Now runner is second, two outs. Perot taking the first pitch in the dirt for ball one. Five to nothing. The Episcopal Knights leading over St. John's. This one's hit over to the shortstop, Stocks. She picks it up, throws it over to Stahlbaum in time for out number three. 6-4 ground out to end the inning, but Episcopal able to get a run off the walk issued from Sonia Zhang to lead off the inning. We go to the bottom of the, or top of the fifth inning, Episcopal leading St. John's 5 to nothing. You're watching the SBC Championship here on Vipe Live.
top of the fifth inning, Episcopal leading St. John's five to zero. It's the nine, one, and two hitters coming on for St. John's. Reese Barrett, the pitcher for Episcopal on the mound for her fifth inning of work. St. John's unfortunately have got, or fortunately have six hits on the day, but have left five people on base as it's Julia McStaywich, her first bunt attempt and to miss for strike one. Six hits for the Mavericks through four innings, but unable to score any. And that one's high and inside to McStaywich. Had a home run taken away back in the first inning. Jesse Beck, the right-hander, ripped one over the left field wall, but got taken away off of fan interference. The coach's son went, touched her hand before she came and touched home. That one outside for Barrett for ball two. 2-1 two, now the count to McStaywich. Julia McStaywich struck out back in the second inning. He bunts. This one gets over to third base. And a bad throw for Moriarty. And McStaywich taking off to second base off the missed throw. Coming off the bag, though, really close. But she's going to stay at second base off the air from the third baseman, Moriarty. It's gonna be the first error issued to Episcopal in this game. And that bunt from McStay, which really close to going foul, you could question whether Moriarty should have even picked that ball up on the third baseline, but she elected to do so and then had a bad throw over to the first baseman, Lewis, who couldn't pick that one. Just a little bit too far out of her reach. And the Mavericks gonna start the inning off with a single. And they're gonna get McStaywich out of there. They're gonna get a courtesy runner in for the Mavericks. For McStaywich. It's going to be number 14, Addison Vine in for St. John's. Courtesy runner in Vine at second, no outs here in the top of the third inning. The pitch ran outside for the leadoff hitter, Amira Stocks, for ball one. Stocks 0 for 2 in the game with a couple ground outs. Pitch from Barrett is outside for ball two. 2-0 two -oh now the count. Reese Barrett, the pitcher for Episcopal yet to walk anybody. And has a 2-0 -oh count now. This one's hit to the right side, second baseman. Hale fields it, throws over to Lewis at first. And that Gets the first out of the inning for Episcopal. Another ground out for Stocks, and that brings up the third baseman, Jesse Beck, the one I just referred to, hitting that home run in the left field back in the first inning, but unfortunately taken away off of fan interference. And quick moment at the mound between head coach Caitlin Kane bringing her pitcher, a towel, <laughs> wiping her hand a little bit as it's a hot, humid day out here in Houston, Texas. Right there off Bissonette at Episcopal High School. And off that ground out, though, the runner, Vine, able to get over to third base off the grounder to the right side. Now with the runner at third base in Vine, Mavericks are threatening to score a run here. Brings up Jesse Beck, right-hander. Home run in the first. I mean, I'm giving it a hit, even though she didn't score a run on it. I mean, can't take the hit away, I don't think. Just take the home run. That one in the dirt for Barrett for ball one. 1-0 the count. 
six hits in the game for St. John's and have left five on the base pass. Just haven't found that hit when they needed it. That one in there for strike one. As you hear the kettlebells start to ring at Episcopal. Got the nice student section down here at Knights Field. That one just a bit outside for Guerra. It's going to be ball two. 2-1 two now the count to two-hole hitter Beck. Runner at third base in Vine. And Barrett, the delivery in the pitch. Swung hit to the left side. Perot fields it, throws over to Lewis for the out. But it is going to be an RBI fielder's choice for Beck as Vine able to score the first run of the game here for St. John's. Five to one now the lead for Episcopal. Brings up three-hole hitter, catcher Avery Peaks. And takes the first pitch in for strike one. Peaks, one for two on the day. Singled in the first inning. And grounded out in the third. That off-speed pitch froze Peaks there for strike two. Haven't seen many of them from Barrett, but Perfect place to throw that one. That one just th froze Peaks, who now has to stay in it with an 0-2 count. Swung it over to Lewis, the first baseman, who picks it up and touches the base for out number three. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Episcopal still leading 5-1. to one. You're watching the SBC Championship here on Vipe Live. Bottom of the fifth inning, Episcopal leading St. John's 5-1. to one. Episcopal up to bat. It's going to be the 2, 3, and 4 hitter. Leading off is the catcher, Lily Tanner. 0 for 2 on the day, but a run scored off an error from the third baseman. Sonia Zhang for St. John's on the mound for her fifth inning of work. Has three strikeouts on the day with three walks and has given up four hits. The pitch in the dirt for ball one to start off Tanner. Episcopal scoring three in the first, one in the third, and one in the fourth. Got them to where they have their 5-1 lead. And that one's ripped into right field. Takes a one hop into Pale's glove. That's gonna be a leadoff single for Tanner and the Episcopal Knights. Now 
Now stepping up to the plate. The first baseman, the three-hole hitter, Gianna Lewis. She's one for two on the day with a run scored. Had a single up the middle back in the third. First pitch swinging and missing at for strike one. And that one in the dirt for Zhang and taking off from first base is Tanner. And she slides into second safely from the throw in the dirt from Zhang. Now runner in scoring position for Episcopal, no outs. 1-1 one, one count to the three-hole hitter, Lewis. Zhang getting the call in from Peaks and hitting over to the left side. The shortstop stalks, gloves it, throws it over to Stahlbaum at first, and that's the first out of the inning for St. John's. One out. Now that brings up center fielder Allie Williams. 0 for 2 on the day. After a fly out and a line out. Runner at third base. Threatening for their sixth run for Episcopal. She fouls the first pitch back to the backstop for strike one. Williams with an opportunity to put Episcopal up by five runs again and takes the first pitch high for ball one. The Episcopal Knights, the reigning SBC champions here, trying to defend their crown. And that one high for ball two. Gets away from Zhang a little bit. She's on the mound for her fifth inning of work. Possibly some fatigue starting to settle in. Zhang now, that one in there for strike two as Williams couldn't hold up. That ball maybe a bit outside. But St. John's lucky that Williams couldn't hold up on that one. 2-2 two -two now the count. Swings, pops it over into right field, and it drops in fair. Williams going over to second. She's going to get in with a stand-up double, scoring a run. It's going to be an RBI double for the center fielder, Williams. As just pop that one over the right side, but the right fielder, Pale, not able to get over to the line quick enough. And it falls into no man's land. Shallow right field. It's gonna be an RBI double for Williams. Now stepping up to the plate, the third baseman, Reagan Moriarty. She swings at the first pitch, pops it over to the first base side. Stahlbaum not able to get it though. And after that, Drop throw, Moriarty going over to second base to set up runners. It's second and third with one out. It's gonna be an error on the first baseman, Stahlbaum there. She just wasn't able to get behind the ball in time. She was running back on it and not in good positioning to get that fly ball. Now puts the Mavericks in a tough spot with runners on second and third and one out. As the Episcopal Knights already lead here six to one off of just six hits in the game. Able to score three in the first inning off an error from the second baseman McClure. She ran into the shortstop stocks on a foul ball. 
and it was able to score the first run of the game. Then Reagan Moriarty with a very similar hit to the one we just saw, actually, had a RBI triple back in the first inning off a pop-up over to right field that Hale, the right fielder, dove to try and get and was not able to get it, and it went by her. And that allowed her to get to third base and score both runs for the Episcopal Knights. And then a walk and a passed ball got Moriarty to home plate. Scored three runs in the first. One run in the third, one run in the fourth, and one run here in the fifth to now bring us to six and one. First pitch swinging at over to second baseman McClure, and she's not able to get Barrett in time. Reese Barrett, the pitcher, not afraid to swing at the first pitch, just grounded it into play over the second baseman McClure, and she's not able to ground it and throw it over to first base in time. It's going to be an infield single for Barrett, and scores the seventh run of the game for Episcopal. One out, runners on the corners. Camille Walker, the seven hole hitter up for Episcopal. She's 0 for 1 with a walk back in the second inning. Has an opportunity to score some more runs for her club here with one out, runners on the corners. Zhang delivers and the pitch is outside. Taken off to second is Barrett and she gets in standing up with no throw from Peaks. Walker, now base hit, possibly scores two. With runners on second and third, and one out. She comes around a bunt, and Zhang reads it, throws it over to the catcher, Peaks, and gets that out. And it's going to be a fielder's choice bunt for Walker. It was a nice try for the Knights, but Zhang read it pretty easily. If it maybe had gotten down maybe one of the lines, maybe could have been a tougher play, but really hit right back up the middle to Zhang. Just underhanded over to the catcher peaks and tags for the second out of the inning as well as stops a run scoring for Episcopal. Just before this game, it was Houston Christian and Kincaid, and Kincaid ended up coming back to win from being down nine to one. So we just saw a comeback on this field earlier. We could see one here again, as they scored nine runs in the sixth inning to tie it up, and then scored a run in the eighth after they had to go to extra innings. Pretty crazy game as Kate Hale up for a third plate appearance. Swings at that one for strike one. She has a 1-1 one -one count, and she's one for two on the day with a bunt single back in the fourth inning. She has runners on the corners, and this one she fouls back to the backstop. Camille Walker taken off there. She's going to have to go back to first base off the foul ball for strike two. One, two, now the count with two outs. Runners on the corners for Episcopal. Swing and a miss. That's going to be strike three to end the inning. Fourth strikeout on the day for Zhang, and she gets out of a tough one there for the Mavericks. It's going to bring us to the top of the sixth inning. St. John's trailing Episcopal 7-1. to one. You're watching the SBC Championship here on Vibe Live.
top of the sixth inning. Episcopal leading St. John seven to one. It's gonna be the four, five, and six hitters for the Mavericks here at the plate. Leading off the pitcher, Sonia Zhang. She's one for two on the day with a single. Reese Barrett on the mound for her sixth inning of work. And her first pitch of the inning is in there for strike one. Episcopal scoring two runs in that bottom of the fifth inning after a leadoff single from Lily Taylor Tanner, an RBI double from Allie Williams, and then a RBI single from Reese Barrett. And the check swing for Zhang is successful. It's ball one. And that one just outside for Zhang for ball two. Two one. Here the count now to Zhang. And that one outside for Barrett. Three to one. Now the count. As I've said earlier, Barrett been dominant on the mound. It's only given up one run, but it wasn't earned. It was off an error from the third baseman. That one hit down the third baseman, Moriarty. That one bounces into Lewis, but not able to get it. Goes to the outfield and going to second is Zhang, and she's gonna be standing up in there. Into second base off the air from the third baseman, Moriarty. Was just talking about her, and this time it's another bad throw from the third baseman, Moriarty, and Mavericks able to take advantage of it and Zhang getting to second base with no outs here to lead off this sixth inning. Like I was saying earlier, Houston Christian and Kincaid were just on this field earlier. Houston Christian leading nine to one going into the bottom of the sixth inning and Kincaid came out of nowhere or top of the sixth inning, Kincaid came out of nowhere and scored eight runs to tie it up at nine and bring the game into extra innings where they ended up scoring a run in the ninth inning and held Houston Christian to nothing. Kincaid came her out with a 10-9 win and great bunt put down by Beach. And that's gonna be a run scored for the Mavericks and Sonia Zhang able to come around to score there off the the perfect bun attempt there. A bad throw from the pitcher Barrett. And it took second baseman Hale off the bag. And Leah Beach able to get to second base off the bunt. So it would have been a Fielder's choice ground out, but with the error on the throw, it's gonna be back-to-back -back errors for Episcopal here. So the Mavericks have a small window to catch up. Six outs is the window they have here in the top of the sixth inning as they trail seven to two to the Episcopal Knights. Great bunt put down by Leah Beach there and able to score one on that bun attempt. Now stepping up to the plate, the six hole hitter, first baseman, Warner Stahlbaum. She's one for two in her day and she puts down a sack bunt. It's gonna be the pitcher again and that one's an air throw. Three straight airs for Episcopal and it's Stahlbaum out at second. Wow, she, the air throw, Stahlbaum took off the first base and Sonia Zhang out of the mound telling her to stay over at second because she believed that she got under that tag. I gotta say, it was a really, really close play there. But it's gonna be another error on the pitcher. Off the exact same thing, really, as I wrote down in the previous play, RBI bunt, E1 on the pitcher. 
we'll see if they elect to change the call here as a field umpire. Field umpires are getting together to discuss that one. Like I said, really close play there. I really think she did get under that tag, but the throw was in time, and they're going to call home plate umpire Ray Guerra, who's enjoying some time in the shade. Got that tree right there, kind of blocking some of the sun for him, and they're going to call him into the sun and get his take on it there. And they're going to change the call. Wow. Big, big call there from the umpires, and that's going to bring head coach Caitlin Kane to walk out and go talk with the field ump and see why they changed the call. But I believe that Stahlbaum was able to just get under that tag there. Like I said, very close play. And the other umpire's takes had to change the mind of the field umpire and head coach Kane gonna walk off the field trying to get her girls back into it but three straight errors for Episcopal and now the Mavericks are back in it only down seven to three here and the top of the sixth inning with no outs and a runner on second base and stall bomb now stepping up to the plate designated hitter Sophie Lesniak she's 0 for 2 on the day with a strikeout and a line out. And the pitch from Barrett, she comes around to bunt. This time goes foul down the third base line. And that's how Episcopal has been able to do been able to do it here. Has been back to back bunts and back to back errors for Episcopal. And St. John's scoring two runs to start this inning. She came around to bunt the throw down from Tanner and it's Stahlbaum getting back in there safely. She came off second a little too much after that pitch from Tanner. She does get back in the second safely now. She has to protect here and doesn't hear Lesniak as she has an 0-2 count. The pitch from Barrett the check swing and it's going to be a ball high and away for ball one. No outs here in the top of the sixth inning. Runner at second base. And this one's hit over to the left side going into foul territory though. And she battling here. Sophie Lesniak trying to get another run across the board here for St. John's in the top of the sixth inning. And the one-two pitch from Barrett is high for ball two. And Going to be a throwdown attempt from Tanner. It's going to get by the second baseman, Hale, but fortunately, center fielder Williams able to ground that and keep the runner stall bomb over at second. Tanner not afraid to throw down, but her second baseman or shortstop weren't in position. And that one gets inside for strike three. It's going to be the third strikeout of the game for Barrett. First strikeout for anybody looking in this game. And a big one out needed for Episcopal in this inning. Coming around to bunt now is the right fielder, Lillian Pale, who's 0 for 2 in the game. Put a bunt down in the second inning and was able to get on from an arid throw from the pitcher Barrett. It's been three throws like that from Barrett on the game. Two of them in this inning has cost her two runs. The 0 1 pitch, and she backs away from it, and it comes in and strike two. Hale now having to protect with two strikes. No balls for Reese Barrett. 
who still through five and one third inning has not given up a walk. And it's a swing and a miss, strike three for Pale. And Barrett, after those back-to-back -back errors, has proceeded to come back with back-to-back -back strikeouts. Now the nine-hole hitter, Julia McStaywich. She was able to get a run scored last inning off the air from the third baseman, Moriarty. And she's going to try and bunt. She's going to put down right in front of the first base line. Picked up the catcher, Tanner. Throws over to Lewis for the third out of the inning. Really nice job and nice throw from Tanner. Let's get that ball, throw it over to first base in time. St. John's not over yet. They trail 7-3, to two runs scored off back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back errors from Episcopal. St. John's still trailing Episcopal, though. 7-3, to three. we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. You're watching SPC Championship here on Vipe Live. Bottom of the sixth inning, Episcopal leading St. John seven to three. It's Episcopal at the plate. Nine, one, and two hitters to lead off here. It's the left fielder, Bella Woodcox. On for her sixth inning of work, the right-hander, Sonia Zhang, and her first pitch is in the dirt for ball one. Episcopal able to score at least one run in every inning except the second. Now lead by four here against St. John's after giving up a couple of runs in that sixth inning. That one's fouled over the left side for strike one. It's an air throw from the third baseman, Moriarty, to start the sixth. And then back-to-back -back bunts for St. John's caused the pitcher Reese Barrett to overthrow over at first base and that scored two runs for the Mavericks. That one in there, pain in the outside corner for strike two. Zhang now ahead of the count. One and two to the nine hole hitter, Bella Woodcox. 0 for two with a fly out to center field and a strikeout. And that one swings on and misses as that one was way outside but couldn't hold up there and that's the first out of the inning for the Mavericks. Now, stepping to the plate, the leadoff hitter, Emma Perot. She's one for three, led off the game with a double. And this one ripped down over to second baseman McClure, not able to glove it, and it's going to be. A single for Perot and the Knights. She hit that one just to the left of McClure. She was able to glove it, but not able to get it in her glove. She just knocked it down. They had to go get the ball, and that gave Perot plenty of time to get over to first base safely. It was a good hit ball. We'll give it an infield single for the leadoff hitter. Perot now stepping up to the plate, the catcher. Lily Tanner, she's also one for three, had a single back in the fifth inning. And her first pitch swings and fouls back to the backstop for strike one. Had a single stolen base and a run scored in that fifth inning. 
one of the two runs scored there for Episcopal. And that one outside for ball one. That one runs outside for ball two. Two one now. The count. St. John's trailing by four here. We'll have one more opportunity in the top of the seventh to get some runs on the board. Swing over to the left side. It stalks the shortstop, flips it over to the second base from McClure, and they get the lead runner, Perot, out at second. Fielder's choice, 6-4, and Tanner is going to get on first with two outs. Brings up the three-hole hitter for Episcopal, the first baseman, Gianna Lewis. She's one for three on the game with the single. Sonia Zhang trying to get out of this one with no runs, giving up. And the first pitch is in there for strike one. Go ahead and get Zhang's line after this inning just in case the game does end up ending after the top of the seventh. This one hit right in between the shortstop and third baseman. It goes into left field and Mistalwich not able to ground it cleanly and that's gonna give enough time for Lily Tanner to get over to third base. It's going to be an infield single for Gianna Lewis, her second of the game. She's able to get to second off that bobbled transition from the left fielder, McStaywich. Runners now on second and third with two outs for the Mavericks. If you're St. John's, you really want to get out of this one without giving up any more runs because you only have one more opportunity in this top of the seven to try and tie it or take the lead. It's Allie Williams, the cleanup hitter for Episcopal, taking the first pitch in the dirt for ball one. She's one for three on the day with an RBI double back in the fifth. Swing and a miss from Williams, and that's strike one. Pitch from Zhang, and it's popped up into the infield. Second baseman McClurry running over to it, and she gets it for the third out of the inning. So Episcopal threatens to score there with runners on second and third and two outs, but not able to get the job done. And we go to the top of the seventh for St. John's final opportunity to try and score and take the, or take the lead as they trail Episcopal here seven to three.
Top of the seventh inning, Episcopal leading St. John's seven to three. And this is St. John's final opportunity to try and either tie the game or take the lead here at Episcopal High School. For the Knights, they are three outs away of defending their SPC championship as they won the Southwest Preparatory Conference championship last year in 2021. They also won it in 2019 and many years before that. This ball club has had tremendous success in these recent years. It's going to be Reese Barrett on for his seventh inning of work and up to plate. The leadoff hitter for St. John's, the shortstop, Amira Stocks, takes the first pitch in for strike one. Stocks 0 for 3 on the day. Trying to get something started here for her Mavericks. Let's get some runners on. Takes the second pitch in for ball one. Want to throw Sonia Zhang's numbers out here. She did a great job for St. John's on the mound tonight. As we see the third pitch in, it's fouled to the backstop for strike two. Game not over, but if it ends after this inning, Zhang's going to end the day with six innings pitch, giving up nine hits, seven runs, not all of them earned, three walks, and five strikeouts. As her defense had made some errors behind her, I'd like to say about half of those runs probably weren't earned and that one's ripped over to the to the left side Hale gets the grounder throws over to Lewis for the first out of the inning Knights two outs away from another SPC championship now coming up for St. John's the third baseman Jesse Beck just one for three on the day she actually led off with the home run over in the left field, but not able to count as one score as it was a fan interference. The coach, Isis Amoa's son, came out and touched Beck before she touched home plate. And the run inevitably got canceled out. This one, Beck pops up into the infield. It's shortstop Perot getting under it. And she catches it for the second out of the inning. Episcopal now one out away from the SBC championship. And it's the three hole hitter, Avery Peaks, had a single in the first inning, one for three on the game. And Reese Barrett is one out away from back to back state championships. And this one in there for strike one. Excuse me, SPC Championship, the Southwest Preparatory Conference. And Barrett's first pitch is in there for strike one. Peaks now 0 and 1 with two outs. Swings over, it goes to third base Moriarty. She steps, throws over to Lewis, and that'll do it. The gloves are thrown, and the bench comes out to celebrate as the Episcopal Knights have won their second SPC championship in back-to-back -back years by a total score of seven to three. I'll let them celebrate on the field here. I'm gonna get Reese Barrett's line very quickly and give you how she did on the day. Dominating performance for the Episcopal right-hander. She was able to go seven full innings only giving up six hits, three runs, no walks, and four strikeouts on the day for Reese Barrett and the Episcopal Knights. So the handshakes are going through. Sonia Zhang for St. John's end of the day, six innings pitch, giving up nine hits, seven runs, three walks, and five strikeouts on this beautiful Saturday afternoon at Episcopal High School. What a game for the Knights as they win the SPC championship for back-to-back -back years. I want to thank both coaches, Isis Samoa and head coach Caitlin Kane, 
for giving me lineup information and roster information before the game. I want to thank everybody over here at Episcopal High School for helping me out. I want to thank my QA Shane for listening in. Producers Suna, Merle out in Austin, thank you guys. And thank you for everybody tuning in and listening to this rendition of the SPC Championship. My name is Kyle Harris signing off. Final score, Episcopal wins over St. John 7-3.